Destruction of Trinity Trinity is the basic concept of Christianity and this concept or word, Trinity, is nowhere found in Bible. Jesus is also a part of Trinity let us destroy Rhinity today from the Bible itself. Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 33 states, One of the scribes, when he came forward and heard them disputing and saw how well he had answered them, asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is Lord, alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, Teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. The scribe come and asked Jesus about the first commandments and Jesus replied, That the Lord is one God, not a Trinitarian God, which also confirms the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Thus, the number one i.e. the most important commandment of all is that God is one and is the scribe further detailed, there is no other than he. So, after Jesus' response the scribe affirmed Jesus' quotation of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 and emphatically established that God is absolutely one. When the scribe affirmed Jesus' testimony concerning God being one, highs, what concept or notion did he have in his mind? Was he thinking about some sort of a triune Godhead wherein Jesus is also God? The answer to that question should be a definite no. The reason is quite simple. If the scribe thought that Jesus was God, he would not have attested what Jesus said in the third person. He should have instead said, you are right in saying, you are one and there is no other than you. But, he did not say that, did he? No. He said, God, he is one. Secondly, if he had believed Jesus was God, he should have worshipped him as God right there and then. At no place in time did any scribe among the Jews in the Gospels ever worship Jesus as God. Thirdly, we know for a fact that the Trinity is something that took over 300 years of development. There was no established Trinity prior to that. How then can anyone claim that the scribe believed in the Trinity? The only reasonable position to take is that the scribe believed as any other Orthodox Jew would believe concerning God namely, that God is absolutely and numerically one having no partners or associates in his divinity, not even in the least bit. At times that God is addressed as the Father in a metaphorical sense. Thus, it is safe to conclude that when the scribe confirmed what Jesus said what he had in his mind, the concept, was absolute strict monotheism and that the Father and only he is God. Now getting further to John chapter 20 verse 17 and John chapter 8 verse 54, Jesus said, Do not hold unto me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Jesus replied, If I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My Father, whom you claim is your God, is the one who glorifies me. In John chapter 20 verse 17 Jesus said that, My God. So this clearly proves that Jesus too has a God whom he refers as Father. In John chapter 8 verse 54 it is clear proof that Jesus was very much aware of the fact that they regarded God as one and that he is called the Father, and no other persons. It is very clear from the above facts that Jesus was not a part of Trinity and he knows that people claim his metaphorical Father, God, as their God the one who glorifies him. Since, again complete monothism now moving on to next John chapter 4 verses 21 to 23, Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, an hour is coming when neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such people the Father seeks to be his worshippers. Take serious note of what Jesus says, we worship what we know. He uses, we, which obviously includes himself. Worship what? God the Father. And the true worshippers are those who worship him, Father, in spirit and truth. John chapter 4 verses 21 to 23, 20, 17, 8, 54, Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 equals destruction of Trinity.